my name is Lucas. Um, I was introduced to Tantra in 2014, and since 2018, I have been teaching around the world, and the last 12 months alone in eight different countries, and now here in Copenhagen. I get this question asked a lot, what is Tantra? And um, I always say when you ask 10 people, you're probably going to get 11 answers, because at least one person will have two. So many people differentiate between Red Tantra, White Tantra, for me, I differentiate more into traditional Tantra and Neo Tantra. Uh, when I look at traditional Tantra, it's for me about the, the yogi path of the eight limbs, the, the principles of the duties, the philosophy, the yamas, the asanas, the pranayamas, uh, pratyahara, the sense of control, dharma, the focus, the yama, the meditation, and ultimately the path of enlightenment and all the rituals around it. Um, when you come into Neo Tantra, um, we try to apply the same principles of expanding and liberating the consciousness, but to more of an approach to that addresses our modern life today, where we're facing um, some kind of challenges that we didn't have 4,000 years ago: overstimulation, lack of sensitivity, traumas, confusion, and. Neo Tantra is a little bit also more focused on relationship and uh, sexuality, sexual sexuality compared to traditional Tantra. But I also feel that is alright because um, focus and attention naturally goes always there where it's mostly needed. So when Tantra came in the 70s uh, to the Western world, they kind of reduced it to that. But I feel there's a reason behind it. So I'd rather see it as a symptom rather than an issue. Well, I've been in part of the Tantra movement since 2018, teaching together with Michael, traveling with them first as an apprentice, uh, co teaching with them later on. And now, uh, since I came to Pagan, we teach it together every weekend, building up to our uh, grand course, the teacher's course, that is one one month long course with six days every day preparing new people to not just understand Tantra but also learn how to forward the experiences to more people around the world because I feel when more people will have access to this knowledge the world will be a better place. The most valuable is always for me that first of all I tell people I'm not necessarily a guru teacher. I facilitate the space where people can awaken and listen to the inner room. So for me, the end of the hard journey is this, where I see people uh, had a major realization, reflection about their own life, and that what becomes uh, most powerful for them, rather than just listening to somebody else's experience, they have their own. And this is for me the most valuable one. I'm living in communities all around the world, permaculture communities, rainbow communities, and now here, and this has been a dream for me for a long time because I was looking for communities where we put um, Tantra also as a core principle um, and community living because I saw in many communities that were failing because of frustration, because they were unable to communicate true emotions and then that's why it fell apart. So that in here was quite intense because all of these emotions are constantly being triggered and brought to the surface. But it also gives us the opportunity to grow beyond levels that we could not have imagined before. So the connections I've experienced here was very meaningful because even sometimes uh, we could not know the people for more than like a month. We went to connection that felt like I knew these people for years. And that's um, why I realized that a connection between people do not develop over time, but it develops over moments. So the same amount of moments that other people have in a year, you, I felt like I have here in just a couple of weeks. So that was a mind for me to realize the difference. So I would like to encourage everyone to at least get a taste of Tantra to see if it has any value to you because for me it helped me in a very transformative way. I came from a society in the background where I was very insecure about myself, about my body, uh, about how I appear to others and now I'm teaching around the world in front of up to 100 people simultaneously and it gave me so much self-esteem and self-courage. So for me, it's something that I can add to my life every day 
I lived for a long time in South America, so I lived deep in nature of shamanism, and that has been also very healing to me. But it's something that Hunter gives me that I can apply on daily life and, and, and all my relationships and connections, doesn't matter if it's female, male or female. And therefore, it is for long term maybe a, a slower process, but the more sustainable one, and that helps me to be and not have fallbacks like I have with other approaches.